हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वंस अगेन वेलकम टू भोलानाथ एकेडमी इन दिस वीडियो स्टूडेंट्स नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सी क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर इन क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर स्टूडेंट्स यू हैव टू एक्सप्लेन द हुए रोथरी रोल्स विथ एग्जांपल्स सो नाउ वी आर वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन व्हाट इज हुए रोथरी रोल्स एंड विद द हेल्प ऑफ द एग्जाम्पल नाउ स्टूडेंट्स दिस वी यू हैव टू रिप्रेजेंट द आंसर स्टूडेंट्स फर्स्ट यू हैव टू डाइड हु रोथरी रोल्स वट इज हुए रोथरी रोल्स दिस इज नॉट ए सिंगल रूल बट इट इज द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ द टू कट जनरेशन स्टूडेंट्स इट इज द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ these two rules is called as hume rothery rules first one is succession of hume rothery phases this is the first issue is succession of hume rothery phases and second is hume rothery ratio okay students so first we will see the succession of hume rothery phases what is this it means it can be stated as when the metal of higher valency we are showing with m dash students metal with higher valency is added to the metal of lower valency that we are showing only capital m this is capital m dash this is m there is a formation of succession of intermediate phases takes place when the alloys will form students there is formation of different intermediate phases of alloys formation of succession of intermediate phases takes place students so here students we are mixing and we are forming the alloys so there is a formation of phases intermediate phases that we are take, going to see so what happens students this is given as follow here i have shown the students block diagram so here this is capital m and this is what m dash capital m is the lower valency here it is we call as what lower valency and of the lower valency metals and this is what higher higher valency okay students lower valency metals and this is what higher valency now when it is present in pure strength now it is present alpha phase lower metal is what alpha phase and higher metal valency m dash that is the that phase i have shown with eta this this is the symbol of eta students so there we have different different types of phases so lower valency metal phase i have shown with capit that is alpha and higher valency metals that is m dash i have shown here what eta so what happens students when the alloy will form alloy phases what will be the form phases of alloy students so this here it will be alpha plus beta then there is a formation of beta phase then beta plus gamma phase then uh, alone they have gamma then here students gamma plus epsilon phase the yeah, epsilon phase the yeah, epsilon plus eta phase understand students from this side also you can read so this way students when you add these two metals the so different different phases will form so these are the alloy phases students here students the alpha and eta phases at the two end of the phase diagram this is the phase diagram students alpha and eta phase i have shown are simply substitutional solid solution they will form substitutional solids solution one having same crystal structure as that of m this is the capital m students having one only one crystal same crystal structure other that of metals that is metals that is higher valency will have beta gamma epsilon are the intermediate phases okay students so here students what is alpha phase which type of crystal it will form students alloy will have phase centered cubic phases when it will form this students alone it will form alpha phase that is phase centered cubic phases you have cc phase you will find students alloy now beta phase is nothing but students body centered cubic phase bcc phase is students gamma phase is nothing but cubic phase when you see the structure of the crystal is is what cubic phase epsilon phase is hexagonal phase it is closed packed phase okay students so this is the meaning of alpha beta gamma epsilon phases okay students so this is this i have shown here students now example here given students pure copper pure copper has fcc structure amount of zinc to pure copper when you are add students the zinc atom at first nearly separate to the mixture of this sample solid solution is formed new phase with bcc structure is known as beta phase understand the alloy will have beta phase now students second part of the hume rothery ratio that we are going to see students that is the hume what is hume rothery ratio when the alloy is formed students this ratio is also very important you should know the factors governing the composition of compound was noticed by hume rothery what he observed that it is the ratio it is the hume hume rothery ratio is nothing but it is the ratio of total total number of valence electron in alloy total number of valence electron in alloy to the total number of unit formula of alloy so what is hume rothery ratio students it is the ratio of total number of valence electron in alloy and total number of atom in unit formula of alloy okay students so we will see with the help of the example what total number of valence electron in alloy when the alloy is formed we have to add the total number of valence electron in alloy and in denominator you will have total number of atom 
here no, students total number of valence electron and total number of atom is unit formula of alloy how many atoms are there that should be in denominator example students here i have shown so many examples here the alloys are given students so copper zinc alloy students when you see valence electron of copper is 1 here i have already written 1 and zinc is what 2 zinc 2 plus so total number of valence electron in this zinc co copper zinc alloy will be 3 number of atoms when you count the number of atoms to copper is 1 zinc is 1 so here it will be 2 when you take the ratio students it will be 3 ratio 2 okay now when you see the phase students copper zinc alloy the phase will be beta okay students i have already told beta is nothing but bcc okay students now here copper and stannous alloy copper and stannous here again students copper phi so valence will, electron will be phi stannous is valence electron when you see students it is 4 so, so total you will find 7 valence electron total valence electron will be 7 number of atoms students when you count the copper stannous in alloy you will find 5 copper atom and 1 stannous so total you will find 6 atoms are involved in the alloy when you take the ratio students when you add students 5 plus 4 it is 9 okay students this is what 9 5 plus 4 is nothing but 9 now when you take the ratio students 9 ratio 6 when you cancel students you will find 3 3 za and 3 2 za that is it is also coming 3 ratio 2 so you can say it is also in what beta phase so ratio is also in a very important factor to decide the phase students now here students you have silver and zinc alloy here also students silver valence electron is 1 and zinc is you will find 2 electrons total you will find 3 valence electrons now how many atoms zinc uh, silver and zinc students total number of atom in the formula this is the formula students silver zinc alloy you will find you will see there is 2 1 plus 1 that is 2 the ratio is 3 ratio 2 that means it will also has beta phase this alloy will have beta, beta phase now copper zinc here students copper and zinc but the atoms are different in copper and zinc alloy here number of valence electron will be 5 5 and when you see students zinc a to the 16 so total you will have 21 now number of atoms students here 5 atom of copper and 8 atom of zinc total you, if you add students you will find there is a 13 so ratio will be students 21 ratio 13 now students this 21 ratio 13 will come in gamma phase okay students that i will already told gamma phase is nothing but cubic phase this alloy will have cubic phase now students copper aluminium alloy students copper valence electron is nothing but copper because of 9 so it will have 9 valence electron aluminium is students it will be 4 3 are 12 so total you will have 21 valence electron now total number of atoms students in this formula copper aluminium 9 plus 4 that is 13 again you are getting students 21 ratio 13 that means it will have be gamma phase gamma phase is nothing but cubic phase yes or no now students you have copper stainless here the formula is different students when you see the valence electron in copper students total how many atoms 31 so you will find 31 valence electron copper plus 8 4 are 32 valence electron stainless total valence electron will be 63 3 plus 1 that is 63 63 now students total number of atom in this alloy students when you add 31 plus 8 that is 39 now when you find you will find the ratio students you can cancel students this you can cancel with 3 2 za 6 3 1 za 3 1 za 3 again you are getting students 21 ratio 13 so this is also gamma phase students same will happen in this alloy copper and zinc students here is copper valence electron will be 1 and you have 3 zinc atoms so valency will be 6 so total valence electron will be 7 now total number of atom will be 4 students because 1 copper and 3 4 now ratio will be 7 ratio 4 so this is epsilon phase students same here also students silver and cadmium here silver valence electron is 1 and cadmium 3 to the 6 that is 7 and total number of atom is 4 same ratio 4 it is also having epsilon phase now here students gold and stannous gold and stannous alloy students gold at, uh, valence electron here will be 3 and stainless is 4 the total you will find 7 valence electron number of atom is here students here students it will be 3 so total number will be 4 students so ratio will be 7 ratio 4 it will have epsilon phase so this way students i have shown the example with the help of this example students you can understand the difference in the ratio also with the help of the ratio we can also show the phases since we are going to see significance significance of homer row 3 ratio what is the importance of this homer, homer row 3 ratio students body centered that is beta phase appears with ratio 3 ratio 2 with the help of this example students you come to know body centered body centered beta phase appears with ratio 3 ratio 2 the cubic the cubic gamma phase 
appears with ratio 21 ratio 13. The hexagonal uh, that is epsilon phase appears with ratio 7 ratio 4. The rule is applicable to beta gamma phase in the compound of the transition metal like iron, nickel, polonium, rhodium, etc. Only when these elements do not contribute any valence electron to the alloy structure. Example is cobalt aluminium alloy and nickel aluminium alloy. Here they are ratio 3 ratio 2, so we will write in beta phase. Cobalt and zinc, rhodium and zinc, here the ratio is 42 ratio 26. Here 21 ratio 13. Understanding students? So that I have already told with the help of the valence electron. This is the valence and this is number of atoms. So 5 plus 21 that is 26. So they will show gamma phases. Understanding students? The rules are applicable in nearly all cases. These rules are applicable in nearly all cases when the component have constant composition. The components are having constant composition. Then only these rules are where with valence variable composition in the different atoms are regularly ordered in crystal so that it is possible to assign idealized, idealized formula to the compound without difficulty. Understanding students? So this is applicable to when the different atoms are regularly ordered in the crystal lattice so that it is possible to assign idealized formula to the compound without difficulty. So this way students, we, with the help of this, these are the importance of the home row 3 ratio. In examination, they will ask this type of question. This way you have to represent the answer. This is very important for the examination point of view. If you like my video, please share it, subscribe it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. God bless you.